who was killed in a hit and run crash over spring break was remembered tonight in a Fort Worth neighborhood as police still hunt for a suspect. Brittany Jeffers joining us live with the message that the family has for whoever did this. Brittany? Doug, there were friends, family members, even strangers who showed up tonight wearing Aja's favorite color, purple. Now, her mother says she hopes that whoever is responsible for her daughter's death will please just turn themselves in. Now, in the area, there are purple ribbons, there's bows, and. Uh, And this was part of the memorial set up this evening. Purple ribbons and bows dotting the area. People filling this Fort Worth neighborhood, remembering a little girl who lost her life six days ago while playing in the street. Now, Asia was riding her scooter when a speeding car hit her and then drove off. Asia's mother, Tia Jackson, said that she misses her daughter's spirit and personality, but she's grateful for her support system and even to strangers who showed up tonight. I'm blessed for them to come. That's a blessing for all of them to come. And I thank God for that. Aja was a first grader at Atwood McDonald Elementary School in Fort Worth, and the school will hold a special remembrance ceremony tomorrow. The family tells us they want to see speed bumps out on Barron Lane, where the speed limit right now is 30 miles per hour. They've even started a petition on change.org and started gathering signatures. Now, as far as the investigation goes, we did reach out to Fort Worth police, but they say at this point they can't release very many specifics on their investigation. Reporting live tonight in Dallas, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.